Hello friends, a very good morning. Yesterday happened to be the 158th birth anniversary of Swami Vivekananda, the great Indian thinker, philosopher, social reformer. So what is the message of Vivekananda that we need to remember? Vivekananda said, give me a hundred young dedicated men and we will transform the whole world. What a powerful statement. So what is this concept of uh, dedicated young men and transformation? And he talks in this beautiful book, My India, the India Eternal. And if you get a chance, please read them. So he talks of that quality of determination and dedication. And from where does this determination and dedication come in? Very interesting. It comes from self-awareness, becoming aware of truly who you are. And the moment we say truly who you are, then we are talking about the truth. The meaning of truth as it is understood in the Indian philosophy is that one which is eternal, which is never changing, which is constant. Scientifically, you know that everything which is in the world of form, world of material, is constantly changing. Nature is changing all the time. The weather, it was so bright just a few minutes back and then it became dull. The day goes, the night comes, the seasons change. So weather is changing from a seed to a sapling to a branch into a tree. As a human being, I and you, we are all changing. A little baby that was born, a young little boy, a youthful person, the middle-aged man, and then growing old. So what is changing is transient and therefore not the truth. It's a passing truth, temporary truth, the illusory truth or the Maya. So we need a name to know what is that nature of that eternal universal origin. Therefore we call it as the universal consciousness or in the Indian philosophy, the Atma and therefore this concept of Paramatma which is a universal consciousness and the Jivatma which is that energy which is staying in you, which is in us, constantly being there but which by never itself changes. What are the natural qualities of this everlasting truth called the Atma? Three important things. Because it is everlasting and it is a constant factor, it is surplus. Therefore, it has never got any deficit mentality, which means it is a fulfilled entity. The first quality which is there within you and me is the quality of actually fulfillment. In our natural way, we are already fulfilled entities, but in the world of forms, we need many things to be fulfilled. The second one, because it is fulfilled, what is its capacity? Its capacity is to be all the time giving, which means all the time caring and loving. That compassion, that love is the natural quality of yourself and myself or your natural core being and my natural core being. So, there is surplus mentality and there is this all the time sharing, caring and giving or compassion that is there. And then what does that lead to? As a result of these two qualities, it is constantly proactive and never reactive. Proactivity operates from a premise that I have more than enough. I have no inadequacy. I care and therefore I will act. And this beautiful idea of proactivity is a very natural part of recognizing the self. So all that Vivekananda is saying is that discover yourself, which means discover that you are the fulfilled entity, discover that you are the compassionate caring entity and discover that you have the immense ability to be proactive and serving, proactive and offering, proactive and creating alignment and celebration in the world in terms of prayer, in terms of gratitude and salutation, not only to Vivekananda, but to the very, very seed of creation, whom for the sake of convenience we may call as divinity or God or Paramatma for that matter. Let us truly discover ourselves. All the very best. Good luck to you.